Here's our very first cord of wood on our trailer. This is uh, three feet high by six by ten. So loosely thrown in, that should be a really healthy cord. I don't uh, think anybody's going to complain about that that measure. That's for sure. So my wife and I, we've uh, processed one full cord in an hour and 52 minutes, and that includes me stopping to talk to somebody who just came to pick up some lumber. So. I, the logs are crooked that <laughs> I was uh, running through my processor. These ones are a few that are left over and they're pretty straight, but you can see the, the more crooked they are, the little more, well, the more time you have to spend with them, I guess. But our system works out pretty good. All powered by split fire, conveyor. I just put it on the front of the trailer and just pulled the truck ahead three times. It uh, was really no effort to uh, to load the trailer. I had to get up a couple of times and, and toss it to the other side just because this conveyor is only 10 feet long. If it was another two feet maybe would be ideal but as far as I'm concerned I've invested enough this year into this firewood business um, I'm just just now concentrating on making this this whole system work but this is a wonderful trailer this is uh, all aluminum it weighs about 1200 pounds uh, empty of course and it's got uh, I think it's got a pair of 3,500 pound axles but I might be wrong it might be heavier than that I see six bolt wheels instead of four uh, five bolt um, it's got a trickle charger this plug right here 110 plug to uh, to charge up the trickle charger and inside this box of course is our hydraulic pump and uh, this is a remote control it's power up and gravity down it's a group 24 marine battery and it has a 1.1 amp uh, trickle charger it's actually a battery maintainer not so much a charger which uh, the difference is this here will monitor the battery voltage when it's plugged in and if it needs to charge it will if it doesn't it, it shuts off just so you don't get any overcharging it's telescopic um, this uh, the whole capacity of this I think was 8800 pounds um, it'll lift but I think that's probably more than I'll ever ever need to lift a cord of green mixed hardwood here in Nova Scotia which I've weighed at uh, at our local the dump there the transfer station has a scale I, I weighed before and after I loaded and was 3250 pounds uh, was the the tear weight after I had after I had dumped up that uh, that load so it has ramps as you can see on the side for loading if you want a, an ATV or it's not long enough for my tractor it might be without the loader or backhoe or something on it but um, it would be ATV or a small tractor probably be ideal has these jacks on the back you can see those that would stabilize it if you were to uh, to load uh, some piece of heavy equipment a skid steer or something like that you would be able to uh, put those down and keep it from lifting the taking too much weight off the truck as uh, as the weight comes on the back of the wheels it's pretty well centered doesn't seem like it has a whole lot of tongue weight um, got a tarp comes with a tarp kit so that it can cover the load so you don't lose any wood going down the road I'm very happy with it I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't change a thing I'm ecstatic with how easily a tow is empty and I'm just curious here now to see how it tows full anyway that's all I have to say about that for now over note everybody thanks for watching no doubt everybody has seen these trucks in my uh, videos this is my 87 synchro double cab I've had this since 1993 and it's also got a big uh, diesel it's a well, I say a big diesel for these these came the only diesel engine they have is a 1.6 liter very slow um, this one's got a 2 liter uh, pump deuce engine from a 2005 Passat it's a BHW engine code and it is brilliant it's got lots of power they're 165 horsepower the way these are tuned my son writes the software or installs the software for them um, big turbo um, and 300 Pound feet of torque a little more than 300 pound feet of torque so, so that's my summer truck i don't drive that at all if there's salt in the roads but it'll pull my car trailer i've been to ontario a dozen times or so, which is about a 2,000 kilometer one-way trip for me i bring vans back you guys have seen this tractor in action before and here's the real workhorse this has got my wood trailer on the back of it all tarps and ready to deliver a cord i've got airbags in the back of this truck this is the same exact truck 1987 just in a single cab version 
and it's a workhorse for sure. And I used to deliver my wood in the back of this and in a five by 10, just a single axle utility trailer. So, so the airbags in this will level it. There's a lot of weight on the tongue of this uh, trailer, probably way more than the hitch will allow, but it's a go westy hitch. And I, before I installed both of the hitches, I took them all apart and um, ground the welds and then re-welded them to my satisfaction, not uh, necessarily a factory's satisfaction. But anyway, these are the two workhorses um, that pull that trailer. And uh, I don't know what order I'll put these videos in, but uh, maybe somebody would be interested in, in seeing this old old work, old stuff working. Anyway, thanks for now. Over and out.